Okay, there we go. Perfect. Everything should be in order. Uh, I should be getting game audio sometime soon. There's no game. Oh, no, 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 there is. Okay, cool. Let me up the volume a little bit more. I feel like somewhere around there is fine, huh? maybe. Because I don't want to be like too loud either way, so yeah. Also, another update on this. So last time that I was streaming, I was streaming Monster Hunter 1G, which is the uh, re-release with uh, basically a lot of fixes and quality of life stuff, and also G rank, which is the end game. But now I'm playing the original Japanese release, like basically the first time that Monster Hunter was ever a thing translated. For a couple reasons. Mostly because I can transfer the save file from one version to the other, and I really wanted to do that, because that's, you know, when when do you ever get the chance to do that, you know? And I think the intro is different, so I kind of want to see it. So yeah, that means that I've been playing this game, basically replaying it for like 15 more hours, and honestly, it's been awesome and cool and a lot of fun. Hello there, I'm Rooks. I hope you're doing pretty well, by the way. Oh my god. Oh no. This game is so cool, so it's worth it. It's crazy there's not like uh We haven't seen like any hunter show up yet. It's just been monster. <gasps> there's hunter. <sighs> Sword and shield and hammer. And then the gunner. Oh wait no, that's not hammer, that's great sword. That's Gen 1 Greatsword, before you just like run at them with it. <laughs> it's basically Longsword. <sighs> what is that gunner gonna do? Holy shit! They shot a logo at him. That's awesome. Old Monster Hunter is so hometown. It's been so nice playing this one. Insanely comfy. But yeah, I've been playing this one specifically for almost 12 hours. You know, normal stuff. Whoa. And you know what? You know what we can do right now? Since I set everything up, we can actually go online right now. I think that will be a nice warm up since I have not played all day long. I already did all the setup, so I don't have to go through much of that. But I do have to. Yeah, the official Capcom servers are offline since 2011. You may play online on MonsterHunterOldSchool.com to connect to those servers, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so this is made by the... Uh, these servers are made by the Monster Hunter Old School people. And it is insane that this part of the game, which was completely lost, is now back and also works in original hardware as well. It's, it's just insanely, insanely cool. I think... At this point, you can play most of the, like, standard Monster Hunter games online somehow. Even the ones with, like, dead servers. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. I've been thinking lately a lot about, um, 
All right, I need to put my account on password. Uh, okay, so this luckily uses keyboard, so I don't have to. Right, if I put it, yeah, okay, you guys can see it. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> Login successful. <gasps> We're online now. There's three players online right now. I don't want to be an asshole and like check on like some random person and be like, yo, what's up? So let's just pick, uh, let's just pick Town 7. Wow, online play in the 2000s? You hope it catches on. I hope so as well. But yeah, this whole section of the game, the town of, well, the yeah, the town, I think, of Minegard, was completely lost to time until, I think, like, mid-2010s. Which also meant that basically, like, half of the, more than half of the content of the game was just, like, locked away forever. And you could just not play it. Anyway, since we're starting Hunter in this, in the online version, we get to, we get to actually, like, sleep with, with the, you know, where they put P a Poogie and stuff. And, you know, what is that if not amazing? Hold on, let me do, let me make this a little bit bigger, I think. There we go, that's okay. Another big difference with this game specifically is that there's no sword button. Which means that, um... Basically, you have to <laughs> move your equipment around if you want it to be somewhat organized. Which also meant that, uh, that it allowed me to make my insane sorting system for it. You know, you know, here is all of the, uh, all of the stuff. Here are all of the materials, monster materials at the bottom, garbage over here because it looks cool, I think. Anyway, also this version of the game also has less inventory space for you to use in your in your inventory box, so that's also kind of evil. Hold on, now it feels like the music is a little bit too quiet. Maybe that will be okay. Anyway, let's change into into what I've basically been using this entire time, which is the spiked hammer, which is the one that I wanted to make in the Monster Hunter G save file, but I have not made it just yet. Also, this game is different in the fact that um, the armor system is like completely different from every single Monster Hunter game ever. Like, you basically require to equip some parts, and that will give you the skill. That's not like mathematical addition system with the skills and stuff. And some armors just don't have any skills at all. Which is really funny. Like, I was trying to make a gathering set, and then I, I found out that, oh, there's no gathering skills at all, period. So, you know. A lot of fun, I think. Also, am I too loud? I feel like I'm a little bit too loud right now. Do let me know. In any case... Uh, what kind of quest can we do to warm up? I think we can hunt a big monster. And by big monster, I mean Yankutku yet again. So let's bring some stuff that will be useful for it. A flash bomb will be kind of cool. I don't think I need to bring any dung bombs. Volume sounds fine here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I already have the fell vine. I already have whetstones, mega potions. 
The only thing I'm really missing is a well done steak, but hmm. Okay, I guess I can bring this too in case I run out of stamina and I need to make something. There are so many NPCs in this and they all have like dialogue and stuff. Like this guy. What's going on? I thought this place was an inn, but it looks a little odd. Is this that famous hunters only guest house? What initial architect architecture? This place is fascinating to an inn aficionado like me. Hello there, Mario Rossi Penguin. I hope you're doing pretty well. And I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. So far. We are now in the online village called Town of Minigard. One of the big things about the online segment of this game is that the market has... I think they change between days, like real life days. But there's like a lot of vendors that sell very specific stuff that you can... Well, you can get it in like other places of the game. Buy, buy, and buy some more. Are you originally the freshest, perishable, and other fine goods that that are sure to satisfy any hunter's hunger? Yeah. And you can buy some meat over here. Knife mackerel. Stuff like that. Come again soon. It's kind of cool. I think this guy also sells specific stuff. Yeah, material. Like, I think you use this ones to make uh, gunner ammo. I remember seeing someone sell honey, which is, which feels fucking overpowered, maybe. Do you sell honey? Howdy. What can I help you with, uh, with today? I got the best selection of hunting gear you can find anywhere. No, he doesn't sell any honey. Okay. And I think we can buy all of the stuff that this guy is selling in the regular town as well. Hold on, there's also some guys over here as well. Welcome, Hunter. Do you know what day it is today? Today is the day of the big sales event. All items other than those at the combination shop are half price. Go ahead, rob us blind. Whoa. Oh, so that's why the music is insane. That makes sense, because they're running a sale. Anyway, this is the combination shop. Yeah, this is the combination shop. I'll perform any combination you know for a fee. 100% guaranteed success, though. So that's really nice. Because then you don't have to worry about... You know, carrying the... Recipe books, the combo books, like, everywhere and stuff. And I think you can also make them in bulk, which is pretty useful. But yeah, here is where you can buy, like, nutrients, catalysts, all the book of combos, all five of them. My goodness, they're so expensive. It's pretty cool. Let's see, I think I need to sell something so I can actually go on a quest. But we'll see in one second. Let's go back to the plaza. Here is the forgery. And... Okay, here's something that I never really consider. And until I read these two guys over here. It's so dark, you can barely see them on the stream. Are you listening to me or what? You gotta make new armor to reduce the damage you take or you'll pass out. And that'll be all she wrote. Would you please do me a favor and help me talk some sense into my crazy sister over here? Okay, not these guys. These guys are just talking about like, make some armor or weapons, it's fine. It's these two guys. Say there, kid. Don't you just love the look and feel of bone? As a special treat, how about if I tell you all about bone crafting today? When you improve a bone weapon, you endow it with a variety of special abilities. 
The poison and stun effects are good examples of these abilities. The more valuable the crafting materials, the more powerful the effects. Come visit again. Sometime I'll prove to you why bone is better than iron. So I never considered that the bone weapons actually branch off into the like status weapons. Status inflicting weapons, I never considered that. While the iron weapons over here, Sailor Kid, do you just love the weight and shine of metal? As a special treat, how about if I tell you all about metal crafting today? When you improve a metal weapon, you end up with more destructive power and sharpness. And a big advantage of your bone is that the ore you use as a material is easy to gather. As long as you have a pickaxe, you can gather ore at any rocky places in the zones, like cliffs or caves. Come visit again sometime, I'll prove to you why bone, uh, iron is better than bone. But yeah, I never considered the fact that, oh yeah, making the iron weapons is just kind of like slightly easier and less of a hassle than making the bone ones. But they never end up having like a status effect or whatever, until like specific cases or whatever. There should a lot of people called NPC chat over here. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, it's just kind of a cool little place over here. Uh, we do need to sell something, so let's do that right now while we can. I think I can get rid of um, the Velocidrome Claw since I made the entire Velocidrome armor, so I don't think I'll be needing that for any time soon. I read the introduction, but the first time that you come here, you gotta talk with the guildmaster and look at this fucking guy, okay? He goes fucking hard. Anyway, he initiates you into the hunter's guild, and then you can start doing quests. Yeah? How are you getting along, rookie? Here are two tips to remember if you want to raise your rank as a hunter. First of all, you want to earn Hunter rank points. You can earn this by joining other people's quests too. The other tip is that you want to initiate and complete your own quests. Don't just concentrate on one or the other. Work on both of them and build up your experience. That's the path to Tulu growth. You love him? He's fucking awesome, look at him. But yeah. In the original Monster Hunter, it only goes up to, I think, Hunter rank 20? Which is the highest of high rank. I think uh, low rank ends somewhere around here. I think it's just these two levels, now that I think about it. These quests are slightly different, uh, they do offer a bigger payout, and um, that is because the monsters are scaled with two to three people in mind. But I think we can do it, probably. Let's see, let's do Slay the Yankuku on the forest and hills. Oh, the music is also cool. What the hell? Can you hear it? Hold on. God, that is so fucking good. I love that. That should be good for volume, I think. Anyway, this quest requires a contract fee of 200. Yes. Look for members to help with this quest. I don't think there's anyone in this specific um in this specific room. So no, that'll be fine. So you're heading off all alone? Then you may have a success then may you have a successful hunt. You can sit down in here. And do emotes.
It's awesome. Okay, I think we're good to go. Can I check like the game settings over here? I don't think I can. That's okay. But yes, I would like to at some point do the online quests and stuff. I have convinced a couple people to join me to do some of those. So I'm looking forward to them. Also, they give you more rations and stuff because they expect there to be more people. And that is just kind of like a general rule for all of the online uh, multiplayer quests in Monster Hunter. So this guy will be slightly harder than the ones that we've been hunting all the time, but I think that that'll be fine. I think we can handle it. Was that a little bit too loud, or was that okay? This game, like, I don't know, the volume... I don't know, I wish there was a way to, like, normalize it a little bit better, or whatever. Sorry to be, uh... To be so... What's the word that I'm looking for? Two road about the sound balancing, but I do enjoy when the sound is nice, so... Hopefully we can have that be the case. Yankotku is not here, which probably means that uh, it started in zone 5. It sounds good? Hell yeah. Oh wait, it's here. It's here. Somewhere. Is it here? Is this Yankotku? This is Yankotku. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. I needed to lower it a little bit on my end because I could barely hear my thoughts. Like, how is it right now that we're like circling around this fool? I couldn't roll through that. That's okay. Also, some moves are different in this version. There are... there isn't dual blades at all in the original Japanese release. That was added specifically for the western release. And also the triple pound combo with the gold swing at the end is not a thing with hammer. I'll see if I can do it at one point. Like, you just do this. And that's it. And it feels kinda weird. Audio balancing is so arcane and you've not even centuries old the Arc Magi, Magi can figure it out. That's true. I have uh, so many recordings of myself. Um, oh my god, dude. I have way too many recordings of myself that are like basically dedicated to testing out audio. That at this point I feel like I should delete like half of them because they will be almost like 3 gigabytes in total. Oh, he's doing this fucking move. Okay, let's see if we can stop him from doing that. 
Now it should only be like idling and doing the occasional spin. There we go. Yeah, it is weird that the basic combo is like different. So not having the gold swing actually kind of makes it so that the... My goodness. So that the... Spinning attack is kind of like much better. I had to start even in save pal too? Yes. I've been playing at least 30 hours of Monster Hunter 1, basically, at this point, and it's been honestly a lot of fun. Combined with what I played with G, I mean. <laughs> Now, online does not work with the English release, uh, with the Western release, and that is specifically because of the um, the online service thing that they use for it. It's so convoluted and weird from what I've heard that it was basically like impossible to backwards engineer it, or it wasn't like reasonable at all. So people just figured out how to make both the Japanese version and G work. Both of them are Japanese. And that solved the issue with uh, this game and also with Monster Hunter 2, so kind of cool. Is that another monster? No. <gasps> we knocked it down. Hell yeah. Let's smash him. That was kind of scary. Okay. There we go. We're fine. Uh, am I? Yes. Okay, so the model is being weird and funny. So let me close it and open it again. I'm gone forever. But don't worry. I'll come back. Yeah, there I am. I told you that I wasn't going to take too long. See? Anyway, I'm not too, like, um, worried about, like, taking, like, continuous hits. Because equipping three parts of the Velocipray armor gives you stone negation. Which, I don't like playing with stone negation myself, personally. But it is useful as a skill. You were worried there for a second. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never leave. Ever. I'll always be here streaming video games. Okay, this guy is leaving. Or is it? Yeah, it is. I think I noticed that I can use the flash bomb whenever it's... Like, after a specific attack, and it was pretty consistent to knock it out of the sky. Where is this guy? There you go. But I do not recall which one it was specifically. Another version difference with this and Monster Hunter G is that um, the quest for getting the two Wyvern eggs is just a single one, but it is just as annoying. I think they give you less time as well. There we go. I think that hit the hell, if I'm not mistaken. Awesome. We need our entire thing. 
while basically taking uh, as little damage as possible. He did an instant charge, that's okay. That's one of his cool tricks. Good morning. Maxis the droid. I hope you're doing pretty well. This is an interesting breakfast. time slot. Exactly, because like most people are having breakfast right now. But I've been up since like basically 12 hours ago. <laughs> this is the OG Monster Hunter. Yeah. And if you think this guy is annoying, just wait until we see the guy that we're hunting after them. Honestly, I think I fell in love with this game. Like, it, they genuinely got so much of it right that uh, it's just insanely impressive how... I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm just like Monster Hunter Peel, but like this really is like an insane like first fucking go at it. The flex after the heal, yep. All of it is here. Uh, let's see, do something else. Uh, he's probably gonna hit me. Okay, no, we're fine. Also, we are playing on the online segment of the game. Because thanks to the effort of uh, fans and stuff, they managed to restore the online functionality of this, and it's really fucking cool. Oh, you can't really, like, see it, but I am... I am <laughs> this game has insane... Oh my god. Jesus. Thank you so much for the bits. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, this game does have, like, an insane control scheme where you attack using the right stick. And you move the camera with the D-pad. <laughs> but yeah, I really do appreciate it. My goodness, that is so kind of you. The fact that there are people out there keeping PS2 online alive rules. Yeah, they're even like trying to... Okay, I don't remember the name of the game, but there was a Capcom racing game that was also part of the Capcom 3. That was their big push for online on the PS2. And they're also trying to revive the services for that game, and I think they're pretty, doing pretty alright about it right now. Oh my god, we got it angry. He's a mad boy now. Okay, let's see if we can knock him out of the sky. Come on, do something that implies flying. No, it's just going away. It's just going away. Where is it going? I didn't mark it. Oh no. Okay, I think it just went over here. Also, something really cool about this weapon is that um, the spikes don't come out until we draw it. Actually, no, I think they don't come out until you start charging it. Come here, come here, where are you? <gasps> there you are. Can we knock you out of the sky right now? Not even... Where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Perfect. You will join. You are a hunting horn user. Uh, bad news for you, there's no hunting horn in this version of the game. <laughs> they did not invent it until the second game. Okay, 
God, I really want to start streaming Monster Hunter 2. Because it is, like, fascinating how much of that game, like, how much they improved this, uh, this whole concept. Basically, like, two years afterwards. Does the third swing, uh, third pound do as much damage as the gold swing? I do not know. So that's why I'm relying mostly on the, on the full gold swing. I almost hit him in the face. If I had delayed it for like a little bit more, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time, so I'm just going to do that. Hello there, Galan J. Tambaha. I hope you're doing pretty well. This is the original Monster Hunter. In fact, it is a Japanese release of Monster Hunter 1. So yeah, we're going as old as we can. It is kind of like Pokemon. Never actually consider it that way. Oh, hell yeah. That was good. I think we can do a full combo of like side swing and then three pounds. We lost the last one. It's dying. I help it. Okay, okay. We cannot knock it out of the sky as it's trying to run away. You remember how stressful the PSP part was? Do you mean Monster Hunter Freedom? Because I think that's the closest to Monster Hunter 1. Yes. Yeah, basically. <laughs> this is that, but with like worse controls, kind of. Oh, hell yeah. The weird analog controls for the weapon actions. That's true. That's what we're doing. Oh, what? Where the fuck is it going? Oh, okay. It's just going over here. It was just that the, uh, the flying animation was completely off. I don't have ways to trap this guy, so I think I'll just kill him. Don't even have to... Not even gonna, like, wait for it to fall asleep or something. Let's see if we can get all of these guys. There we go. You remember this area in Generations? Yeah, Generations has the uh, forest and hills. Oh, he fell asleep. Okay, so monsters can fall asleep in front of you in this one. It's really strange. Oh, we don't have any more flash bombs. Let's just play it safe. Uh, we could still die right now. Oh no. Okay, panic. I can't see anything. <gasps> oh, that was so scary. One of the things that they improve a lot in G was that um the, the camera doesn't get like, you know, doesn't try to do this anymore, <laughs> which is very, very funny. Let's see. Anyway, since Yankutku basically didn't sleep at all, he's probably like one hit away from dying, so... Seems like he can detect you between landing, animation after landing. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Very cool uh, <laughs> behavior for this monster to be doing right now. He's going to sleep again. That's so funny.
But yeah, Monster Hunter 2, like, straight up, like, cleaned up so much about the monsters and their AI and stuff. Oh my god, dude. You know, one of the Velociprates may end up killing this guy, which is funny to consider. Or we can do that. Oh, we got a mystery bone. Hell yeah. I think, but I'm not sure, is that um, <laughs> carving in this game may be a little bit easier than in G. There we go. We got everything. There's only two drops from Yankutku. I'm gonna move to this zone because there's something that I want to show. So since we're now in the online ver online lobby... Oh no! If it's a single player quest, it doesn't let you? Oh no! We can, we can, we can. Look! We can do animations now! Hell yeah. I wasn't even aware that they were in this game. Whoa, insane stuff that's happening with the camera right now. Oh yeah, there's also no kill screen, which is kind of a, a letdown. But that's okay. Oh, that gives us so much money because it's an online quest. And we also get 100 points. Look at that. Now we're Hunter rank 2. Now we're a rookie hunter. Uh, the online town also enforces autosave, which, you know, I'm not like against it, but like it is kind of funny. Did someone join? No, no one has joined yet. That's okay. But yeah, if we were to like level up to Hunter rank 5, then we will unlock the next couple quests. Show me your cooking skills. Deliver 15 well done steaks. So that's an insane amount of well done steaks. And that is because these quests are made with like online play in the mind, specifically. Like the gathering ones and the killing ones. And that's why Attack of the Giant Box is slay 50 best void. Which is a little bit. I did a little far, uh, a little bit crazy, if I do say so myself. Whoa, Max is a droid. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Enjoy ad free brewing and the cool emotes that we have over here. Like, uh, what's a, what's a fucked up emote? Uh, we got Worm. Yeah, OVA is also pretty good. <laughs> Anyway, I really do appreciate it. Oh, so there's actually one thing that I wanted to check out in the... while I'm still in the... in the town. So the weapon that we're using right now is the Spiked Hammer. And the only way to upgrade it is by getting 5 Mega Nutrients. Which requires God Bugs. But you can't really get those in a nice and easy way until high rank. So that's kind of a problem. How often do they drop? Uh, basically, they only show up in like one gathering spot where you can like catch bugs. And it's an insanely low chance. But anyway, we don't really gotta worry about that. Because I think we can just buy Mega Nutrients from here. Well, we can buy Nutrients. And then turn them into Mega Nutrients. They're kind of expensive though. So I don't know if I want to do it right now. But it is useful that we can just like skip that part. 
Also, this game doesn't tell you... Uh, combinations. Like, it only tells you after you make them yourself. They really expect that you to just buy... a strategy guide for this game. But there are some NPCs that do tell you how some combinations work. And the Combiner's Apprentice. I just started working here, just like you want to... Just like you want to be a great hunter, I want to be a great combiner someday. Combiner. Do you know how to combine? It's a cinch. Choose combine from the menu and then select two materials from the item column. Easy, huh? So anyway, do you know what happens when you gather an herb and a blue mushroom from the forest and hills and combine them? You get a potion. Combining is pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, there is a website that you can use if you play this game that basically has every single like information on this game that you could ever need. There we go, we're leaving the, the village for, for now, the town for now. It is insanely early in, like, American time, so not a lot of people are on, but uh, there's usually like seven to eight people in here, and it's kind of cool. For something that... This server basically, like, came back on, like, three years ago? Two years ago, I think? So it is nice how, you know, somewhat activities, despite all of that. Anyway, that was the town, now we are going back to... The single player village. <sighs> also, I did not drink water now that I think about it. There we go. Mm, one third. Hello there, Goblin Dot. Best? I hope you're doing pretty well. I really like the Kokota music. It is so insanely cozy and nice. I could leave the game over here for like hours and I will not mind the, the background noise. Anyway, so. I have not like fully catched on to where I was on the game on Monster Hunter G and that is because of one thing. This fucking guy, Cephadrom has been walling me basically. And I don't know how I did it in G that I managed to do it on the first try. Less prepared as well. You could make the argument that I was using lands at that point. And that would be a little bit easier. Okay, so... What do we want for this guy? We want pain balls. We have already enough. We, uh, we want as many sonic bombs as we can. Like, genuinely, like too many of them. Uh... Let's just put the well done steaks just in case. Let's grab the cold drink. We'll get a couple more as well. You know, I'm gonna take the risk and bring some honey and herbs. Thank you so much for the stretch and the hydration. Hello there, Koya. I hope you're doing pretty well. I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. And we bring also the potion that we made. Hmm. How many mega potions do we have? We have seven. We can make ten of them. Potion and... Oh, okay, so... In the usual Monster Hunter games, to make a mega potion you use potion and honey. But for some reason in this one, you use herb and honey. 
You woke up and immediately prepared your air conditioner. I'm so sorry that it's so warm. I don't like summer myself because of that. It is crazy that you basically don't need blue mushrooms for anything in this game. Since you can just make mega potions, whatever. And they're insanely cheap to make. So that's something. Okay, let's put the Book of Combos in its place. Let's arrange the item box because this has no auto sort. So, you know, lots of fun. Uh, are we missing something else before we head off? Also, there's no... There's not a single way to sort the menu once you... Like, your items. So, you know. I guess the closest thing to sort them the out will be, like, to put everything into the box and then, like, bring out the stuff the way that you want them to be. But, you know, that's a lot of work. Anyway, I think we are as prepared as we're going to be. So let's sleep. Just to save the game. Sleep sounds very nice. I hope everyone is getting enough sleep and stuff. I hope you all have been doing pretty well. I have not been here for a while, so, you know. Uh, second plug of the Discord, but uh, now there are chat channels in the Discord, so it's kind of... They're kind of nice, they're kind of fun. I can now post about whatever music I'm listening to because I love talking about the music that I'm listening to. I love music, dude. <laughs> anyway. If you get sleep, you miss streams. You can always check the bots for them. Okay, so again, we did this like last stream like two weeks ago on Monster Hunter G. And I basically got up almost to the point where I was there, so... <gasps> Whoa, you made the angry sun in Mario 3. Because the sun is a vengeful beast filled with malice and hatred, we must aspire to destroy the sun. Dude, seeing Holly during the uh, the Nathaniel Van D hyper challenge or whatever play Mario 3 made me fucking want to replay that one so badly. That was so much fun to watch. In any case, I think we're ready to try to take on the Cephatrum again with a hammer. Oh, the desert looks so nice in this game. The dunes, I think they're called. Wait, what are they called actually? No, it's just desert in this one. You joined? Hell yeah. I will somehow coerce more people into playing Fantasy Star Online with me, and it'll be awesome. And this game. You should play this game. This is an open an open threat to everyone. The Dunes is a nice name for it. I think that's what they're called in Monster Hunter 4. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh thank you so much for the vids again. I appreciate it. That is extremely generous of you. Also, using a cold drink in this game doesn't show on the UI, so, you know, you just gotta remember. You're down for PSO. You have taken the open thread. Please, do not hurt me. Good. That's good. PSO is so cool and good. Everyone should play it. Yeah. How long do cold drinks last? Uh, they last for, like, I don't... Okay, I've never actually, like, timed them, but I believe they're, like, five minutes. 
Cool, yeah, it was a lot of fun, like, watching you three play it. You hate this monster? Oh, it's even worse in here. This is genuinely... Okay. Like, this guy is way too fast, and we basically can't do anything to catch up. It is cute. I'll give you that. Okay, so we use the Sonic Bomb. We paintball him right away. And we go ape in the head. If we can... It's gonna start spinning, that's fine. Two hits? That's okay. Do let me know if the music is a little bit too loud right now, by the way. Waterfish versus sandfish. Exactly. It's fine? Lovely. Thank you. So the problem with this guy is that... He will not go out of the sand now, basically. Never mind, he just went out of the sand somehow. I mean, I'll take it. I genuinely tried to hunt this guy on my own three times, and none of those worked, <laughs> so here we are. In this save file. God, look at this guy. You really have to use play catch up to him. Also, Sonic doesn't have like a radius to them, so you cannot use them from like really far away. Oh, we missed. You think he was nerfed pretty hard in the other games? He definitely was. 100%. Yes. Oh my god, dude. That's okay. The good thing about this guy is that his attacks are basically never a threat, to be honest. Like, the only really annoying thing that he does, aside from just going under sand, is spinning. And that's actually, like, very easy to avoid. We only have spent more Sonic Bombs, so we need to deal enough damage to kill this guy soon. There we go. The hammer hitbox seems kind of small. It is crazy how tight the hitbox on your weapons are compared to the monster's hitboxes. Oh no. Oh, there's the hip check. I think we hit it. I'm not sure. I don't think we did. Ah, oh, perfect. Please don't go under sand. That's fine, I'll take that. Also, cephadrams are annoying as hell, as well. Yeah, waiting for it to swim by is a nice idea. But it's so hard to do. We almost did it there. Um, if you do it enough, you can like knock it out of the, um, the sand as well. And this attack is also kind of like predictable, because he always like lands after doing that speed. Okay, let's see if we can do something about this. I want to say some of the Sonic Bombs for when he moves to the last zone, because that one is almost impossible to deal with this guy. Perfect, we hit him. That was good. One of the, like, the only, like, dangerous thing that he can do whenever he's, like, that far away from us is do the jumping attack. That was awesome. We fished him out of the sand. 
We missed a second hit, but that's okay. I'll take that. And we hit him in the head with a gold swing. That's perfect. Oh, he's doing something else as well. Uppercut. That's okay. I don't know how much damage the uppercut deals. Uh, there's also no stun in this game. Like, you cannot stun monsters at all. So Hammer just deals damage, and that's it. Oh no. Good old Gen 1. Exactly. Are you going to the... No. Okay. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You fiend. Delayed it a little bit so we can hit it, and it worked. Okay. He's currently enraged, I think, so I'm gonna heal. Because I think he can one-shot me right now. If he wants to. And let's see if we can whetstone. Uh, one of the nice things about him is that you can just whetstone whenever. Completely fine. Okay. No way we're gonna hit him, yeah. Not even close. Okay. Let's wait again, <laughs> I suppose. I think he always swims over here. Come here, come here. I think we hit him, I heard a sound. So that should have worked out. This may be a little bit early, but yeah, definitely is. Come here, you fiend. I don't think that hit him. He just keeps doing that forever. <laughs> it's so annoying. There we go. Guacamole is going kind of okay. If we can, like, get him out of the sand with another hit, then I'll probably, like, start spamming the... the sonic bombs, so we can just fish him out and kill him. Come on, come on, come here. Oh, perfect. Hell yeah. Fuck it, buddy. I don't care. In his bomb. That was an awesome hit there. Another really good one. So, since his diving animation is so long, you can just kind of fish him out the moment that he lands, which is really funny. I think the Cephadrum, um, helpful numbers for dealing with the Cephadrum. I think we're gonna be fine. Probably if there's like another obligatory quest where we have to kill more of this guy. Oh no. That's okay, I'll take that. End of the cold- oh fuck, we wasted that one. That's fine, I suppose. One thing that I'm worried about is the, uh, the paintball running out. So let me just do it real quick. Get it out of the way. There we go. Perfect. 
perfect. Why did that cancel his attack right now? He like fucking like canceled the animation. That was really weird. There we go. Do something. Don't go in. Ah, oh, we missed the golf swing. That's the most important part of the hit. Rage walk into hip check. Yeah. I hope you guys saw it, by the way. He's enraged, so I don't think I'm gonna spin. I think that will be way too risky right now. If I can keep just doing this for a while, I think that'll be probably fine. It's a little bit risky, but whatever. Oh, he's just gonna throw sand. That's okay. That attack basically can never hit you. And he went out of the fucking sand as well on his own. What a guy. Oh, we cancelled the, uh, <laughs> the swimming. That's insane. Perfect. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, I know what he's doing. If he keeps doing that, then it's completely fine. <gasps> he's, keep, he's gonna keep doing that. Okay, we wait. Then we hit him. Look at that, he just went in again. But we pulled him out. Oh, we need to sharpen. Fuck. Right now? Okay, I guess it's fine. Is he gonna try to like run away? I think he is. Yeah, he's going. Okay. So he must be like close to dying by now. And I just realized that I need to restart my model, so let's see if I can do that with one hand. Whoa, there I am. Awesome, hell yeah. Okay, I don't believe I need to... Oh, he's sleeping right now. He's sleeping right now. I don't have any bombs to use on him, but that's okay. You didn't realize the weapon sharpness wasn't based on color. Yeah, I think it isn't on this one. Or maybe it is, I'm not sure. I think I only have like yellow sharpness on this. So let's see. Okay, okay, that was kind of silly. We couldn't get him with the big hit, but that's okay, I think. Also, yes, there are melings on this zone and felines, which is really upsetting. But we have felvine, so we're probably gonna be fine. We have some felvine, so we're probably gonna be fine. So the really insanely annoying thing about this guy over here is that he doesn't have enough space to swim, so he doesn't like... You can't really tell where he is. Like, there we cool, because we summon. But he starts like spinning around like crazy. Also, these guys are insanely aggressive in here. 
it's genuinely a mess. We ran out of Sonic Bombs as well, so that's awesome. I need to heal or I'm going to die. There we go. There are so many small monsters and critters over here. It is a mess. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so this is where basically we have to pray and hope that we can just kill this guy. Oh, okay, very cool. <laughs> so now he's like swimming around the area and it's really hard to keep track of this guy. How do you like zoom in the camera? Hmm. Why, my goodness! It genuinely is a mess with all of these guys. There we go. Now we can at least see him a little bit better. We have no stamina. He did those two back to back by the way. That was really cool of him. This is insanity. This is insanity, dude. Leave me alone. <laughs> I need to eat some meat as well. There we go. Awesome. If you are the monster and they are the hunter, I think it will go something a little bit like this. I see. That's true. Hello there, Barrier Trio. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time doing what you gotta do. My fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> Sadly, we did lead him... Uh... Oh. Okay, cool. We did allow Cephadrom to sleep for a long while, which may mean that he recovered a lot of health. Okay. Fucking Christ. I, I think it genuinely would be better if we just kill these things right now. There we go. There we go. That should have killed it. Should have killing it. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're good now. So this guy, this fucking guy over here, he can do that twice in a row. Come on, little feline. Or you're just kind of stupid. That's okay. Oh, you kill yourself. That's fine. There genuinely is like nothing I can do about this guy. I guess it wouldn't have been a terrible idea to bring... Uh, dung bombs. It's 
specifically for when it comes to this place, but you know. It's a little bit too late for that. Wait! Oh my god! Hell yeah! Fucking Christ, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't realize that the death animation wouldn't start playing. That was so scary. Giga, thank you so much for the resub, I appreciate it. Four, four months, that is... that is a lot. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, it was so annoying. Uh, hello there, Freak Moth. Lovely to have you here, I hope you're enjoying the stream. And hello, Swell Time Gapuo. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. We just killed that insanely annoying guy. Oh my god. Okay, so now we can actually continue with the game. <laughs> we basically caught up to where we were on G, so that's awesome. For the record, this guy killed me. This guy made me fail quest three times when I was trying this on my own <laughs> with a hammer. Because we basically like will go to this zone and then I will not be able to hit him at all. Oh my god, okay. We showed him who's the better fish in the pond. Also, hello there, Higa. I hope you're doing pretty well. So with that out of the way, now we have access to the four star quests. Oh no! Right, there's also this quest that we gotta do, which is find two wyvern eggs, so you know, we will be doing that again today. I guess we'll be doing that every single stream of this game, and honestly, that's kind of okay. Eggs. Yeah. Okay, so all of these quests are really... are pretty hard. The easiest ones will be the Yendrum. And it's also... Wait, none of these is in the new locale. Hmm. The only kind of egg you're not excited for, Wyvern eggs. Okay, let me put everything... First of all, let me unwind and put everything in its place. So yeah, there's no sorting on this version of the game, on the very first version of the game, so gotta do it manually, but that's okay, doesn't take that long. Wyvern Claw, we can put that somewhere around here, I guess. This is a fish, so it'll go with the other fishes. A scale, that's fine. And honestly, yeah, that's pretty okay. I am! I love sorting out my box. Dude, look at my little cute system that I made. Everything is on its right place. We don't need to bring the well done steak, we can just keep it there. Box sorting is so therapeutic. Someone made a puzzle game out of it. Wait, what do you mean? What puzzle game? Oh my god. I'm still unwinding from that whole mess. Okay, let's take some dung. Let's take some actual monster poop and bomb material and see if we can make some make some something with that. Yes, we can. Okay. Do 
there is a puzzle game that came out a few years ago where you are sorting out a Resident Evil 4 box. God, now that I think about it, I've never actually like played too much of Resident Evil 4, so I think I will really enjoy that specific part of it. Since all of the weapons have like different shapes and you gotta fit them in your inventory. Anyway, we made a single dung bomb, and I think that's more than we need. So we can put the poop back on its place. I guess we can take the Mega Potion since the quests that we'll be doing are gonna be kind of hard, so not the worst thing ever. Anyway, let's see what we can make from Cephalos. Nothing, because it requires hunting that guy again, and I'm never going to do that ever in my life. But yeah, something fucked up I have about how the armor skills work in this game is that they don't tell you, first of all. They just outright do not tell you what skill you're gonna be getting from the armor. And there's not like... Basically, you just need to equip the um, like head and chest and that'll activate the skill. It is a little bit insane how it works. Cyclohammer. What is this one? Slightly worse than the one that we have. It would be nice at one point to make a lance, because lances are pretty fucking strong in this game. We are still far from improving our spike hammer even more. So there's not that many things that we can make when it comes to upgrades. <sighs> Let's see. You know what? Let's unwind a little bit by just doing this basic quest of killing 15 gem prey requested by the injured soldier. <sighs> Whoa, I hope you saw it. I'm too injured to go on. I like you to find and kill 15 gem prey in the desert for me. Watch out, they can paralyze you. It's kind of interesting that the longsword type still exists in the game, but it's a great sword. Yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, in the first generation of Monster Hunter, the great sword doesn't have its most uh, important feature, which is the charging. I really want to try out the dual blades, but that'll be when we come to G. Oh wait, no, longswords are in the game, in the American release. Wait, are they? Are longswords in G? Hmm. I know dual blades are. And dual blades got added to the Western release. But I do not remember longswords specifically. If they are basically just great swords, like if they use the same models. Now, if they use the models from long swords, but they are basically great swords, then that will make a lot of sense. There's a reason that visually looks like a big katana. Okay, yeah. That checks out. Because basically, gameplay wise, great sword in this is just a long sword. Okay, so they don't die from a single super pound. That's okay. So we need to kill 15 of these guys. I'm probably not gonna be like carving all of them, but I do wanna carve some of them just to have some of the materials for posterity's sake.
you became a hunting hard main when they arrived in 4, but sometimes you break out the dual blades because you want to feel the power of god and enemy on your side. I think Hunting Horn was at first on the second generation, if I'm not mistaken. So that would be Monster Hunter 2, uh, Monster Hunter 2, and Freedom Unite and such. Or Freedom 2. The gun hammer in Freedom Unite made you think they will add it as a real weapon. That would have been so cool, dude. Like, imagine a hammer that basically kind of lets you do like squalls like gunblade thing where you like time it after hitting an enemy yeah they were very early on but they also like worked differently in basically every game so you know basically a new weapon That's true. Gento added most of the uh, counterpart versions of the weapons. Free the switch X, and uh, I think that was it with um with it. You could make the argument that like um they rework so many of the weapons that they're basically like unrecognizable some of them from their counterparts in Gen 2. When it comes to gameplay, I think Gen 3 may be my favorite overall, overall. Like, I think the weapons feel just right in that game. All of them. But it is crazy how everything that I'm doing here is basic standard stuff for Hammer nowadays. Well, I guess not nowadays, but like up until like very recently. When was Longsword introduced? I'm not sure if it was introduced in G, but it 100% is on Monster Hunter 2 and Freedom Unite. Also, I discovered the kick button. It's pressing on the right stick. Something to think about. Which also means that that is the button to use the, uh, the charge with the lance, which I did not know. The hunter can kick? Yes. And it actually deals damage, so you can use it to like blow up bombs and stuff. It's really funny. You could also use it to kill a monster, but it will take you hours to be able to do that. You can easily set up a kick a kick kill against Monoblos and Diablos in Gen 1 and 2 games. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that sounds insane. I just imagine like four guys just like taking turns kicking the poor thing. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they can't die when borrowing. Okay. I just I just thought you meant like you fucking like stone lock them or something. There we go. We only need to kill three more. Oh yeah, that's a spoiler. No, but yeah, Manoblos is the final boss in the village of this game. You also cannot die whenever you're borrowing. That's okay. You are everyone's hero, after all. 
Hello there, Ed Dragon Cap Man. I hope you're doing pretty well. This lovely, lovely to stay. We are hunting monsters and stuff. Honestly, it's been a lot of fun. Manablos, because you can fight alone, and Diablos, because he has two horns. There we go. It is insane how therapeutic that felt compared to the last quest. Completely, completely therapeutic. There we go. Your morning is turning out okay so far. Well, I hope that uh, it continues to be that way. I'm pretty okay. I've been up since, again, like 12 hours ago. I woke up at like 5 a.m. So I was just fiending to play, to stream something, kind of. <laughs> Until I like completely like felt like way desired or something. And here we are. You just got the Rathalos Trial in 14. It's fate. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I really like how they adapted the Rathalos fight in that. Because, like, you don't get, um... You don't get, like, AoE markers for the attacks and stuff. So you just basically got a 3D, like, a real Monster Hunter fight, and it's kind of funny. Hello there, Minexi. I hope you're doing pretty well. It's going pretty well right now. We killed an insanely annoying monster, so now we can continue with the video game. I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. You know... Yoshida from Final Fantasy XIV and XVI fame, he did say on he did say on record that uh, he wanted to do a Diablos boss fight if they ever got the collaboration going again. And that would be okay, but I, I think there are could be cooler monsters to have in FF14, you know? Like, imagine how cool a Ball Strikes one will be, like Extreme Trial. That would be pretty awesome, I think. Diablo's first Smash. Is he not in Smash Brothers? There's... there's Rathalos, that's for sure. Hmm. You think it's just Rathalos? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this one I know that it's 100% that we gotta do. And it's capturing the Yankutku. And there's a problem with this. In this version of the game, Yankutku doesn't lower its frills whenever it's about to die. So we gotta treat it like a regular monster. Blessed will be so fun. Uh, Blessed will kill me. They should have Blessed to just fuck with people. That would be awesome. But it will kill me inside. But it will be awesome and funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh dude, setting up setting up the Wii and like hearing the crusty sounds from the Wii mode again was like soul soothing for me recently. I think I have a Super Smash Bros. Brawl somewhere, so you know. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, but yeah, I really want to stream some Wii games now that I have that set up, so that would be pretty fun, I think. Oh, now we're getting to a problem where I'm running out of like space without like breaking the sorting system. Do I have Punch Out? I don't know. I don't think so. It's also not my Wii. It's my roommate's. 
So I don't know what he has on his game collection. Like, from the top of my hand. We do have like a, a fucking bunch of really cool games, like... Like, A Dog's Life for the PS2. Which is really cool. And the Spanish version of Kingdom Hearts 2. Which has a Spanish dub if you didn't know. If you're just finding out now that they dubbed the Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 2 alone. Okay. Uh, let's try to... Hmm, wait, hold on. I need bomb material. How do you make bomb material again? I think it's stone and sap plant. Yeah, it is. Stone and sap plant. So let's take out the Book of Kamba. Let's take out some stones. And some sap implants, which I believe I have some. Yeah, there we go. See, this is the part where using the master combiner will be so much faster, because we can just make this in bulk. Now, how do we make a tranquilizer? Desayuno. Hell yeah, by having some breakfast, I see. Um, hmm. I think we cannot make them. I think we just gotta buy them. Right? No. Question mark. Okay, so let's get a trap tool just in case we fuck up something. I'm pretty sure that we can make them, but I'm not 100% sure what the um, recipe for it could be. Anyway, there is this guy, which is the peddler, and he brings some stuff, and I know that one of them is not the tranquilizer, so that is a problem. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, second idea. Fuck it, we bail. I guess we just leave that there for later. I could, like, look it up, though. That would be okay. Uh, I don't need to have the dung bomb, I think. Since I don't think Rathalos can show up in that quest. And if he does, it'll, it'll be probably be fine, so... Oh yeah, trap tool. Okay, so for this we need spider web and actually no, we have the nets made already. Go nets. Love the nets. There we go. That should make the pitfall trap. Perfect. With a 75% chance, so you know. Kind of painful. And that is with the book of combos as well. So, you know, a little bit evil, if I do say so myself. Okay, so now we have the pitfall trap at least, so... We just need to not fuck up the, um, throwing the bombs. Which in this game... May be a little bit of a problem. But, uh, let's hope that isn't the case. Hmm. I wonder. 
I think it's a flash bug. I think it's a thunder bug to make uh, flash bombs. So they're kind of expensive to make since I don't have any many of this right now. Okay, let's save just to make sure that we don't lose anything and try to capture this Yankutku. The supplies will give me most of the stuff that I need. I'm just making sure that I have enough in case stuff goes wrong. Also, no quest in the swamp. So I wonder if the swamp here is like not a thing. It has to be, it would be really weird if it wasn't. Anyway, the stern scholar says, I would like you to find and capture a Yankutku alive. I suggest using a pitfall trap. Good luck and thanks in advice. No swamp? So far? I don't know. Okay. But we are... We are loaded with money right now, dude. Holy shit, we have so much fucking money. It's awesome. That'll be useful for making upgrades whenever we need to. Realistically, I think I don't need to change my armor. I think it'll be fine since I think I can avoid most of the stuff that Rathalos and this and later monsters do. But we'll see. Anyway, the wisdom of the chief has been updated. You hear his voice. Materials obtained by carving are extremely valuable to merchants. To capture a wyvern, you'll need to use items for capturing. You'll find items for capturing in the supply box. Also, let me tell you what I know about hunting wyverns. This is the last thing I can tell you. You've come so far. I... I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Now go and capture a wyvern. So, track bombs. A grenade-like item used to capture wyverns. Throw seven all of them at a weakened wyvern caught the pitfall trap. When a wyvern is close to death, track bombs will put it to sleep so you can capture it. Okay. The rest is probably just telling me that monsters go to their nest whenever they're tired. Okay, so we get set, uh, six of them. Thank you so much for the follow. I think we are one follow away from 500, which is honestly fucking crazy. I think. You know, I don't want to like make too much of a thing about it, but it it, it is fucking insane. Anyway, uh, so this is just a Yankutku. And sadly, we are pretty strong right now with our current weapon. So I am afraid of the possibility of just killing this guy before we notice that it's limping. So I'll be very, very sporadically seeing how he moves and stuff once we start hitting it. You know, there is a skill that shows you whenever a monster is close to being... Like, whenever you can actually capture a monster. And I don't think I ever used it, so I don't know how it works or how it looks. You love the music? It is so fucking nice, dude. I think this game looks insanely pretty and sounds insanely nice. Is it living? I think it was just living. It does not seem to be here, so let's check on somewhere else. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Hey. 
I think we hit it in the wing. That's okay. It has Jurassic Park magic, where each discovery is really pretty and wondrous. I can see what you mean. I never seen Jurassic Park. I think I should change that sometime soon. Come on, do something. Come on, do something better. You think I'd like it? Okay. I'll take your word for it, Jeepo. You're a master of movies, after all. I love Scream, dude. Genuinely, I really like Scream. I I saw Scream after watching a bunch of um, slasher films, and I was like, whoa, this is really cool what they're doing here. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. This is kind of useful because I kind of do want to make the Yankutku armor at one point. Perhaps, maybe. Because it gives you attack plus, which... Honestly, it's probably like the best skill in this game. Whoa, what? Okay, I guess we can try to jump over that part due to the way that the map is made. I'll remember that for later. You know, after all my, after all the time like using hammer in Monster Hunter games, I really started to use um to try to use the um the side swing a lot more lately, and it's really useful. Like you can basically go into a charge from it really fast. Oh, we missed completely there. That's okay. Side swing it is a good opener. It does let you do the triple pound basically afterwards, which is pretty useful. I think this may be safe. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I know. Having no golf swing is so fucked up. But uh, that'll be fixed once we start with G again. There we go. Oh my god, dude. Well, I don't... Oh my god. Okay. I'm thinking about what to do once I beat Monoblos in here. Because a part of me would like to do the um, online quests and stuff and get to high rank. And finish high rank. But it may be too much for only myself at the moment. Oh, but we could see Alatrion. Alatrion, sorry, we could see Fatalis. And we could see Kirin. And it would be awesome. But I could also start with Monster Hunter 2. Kenster, thank you so much for the sub for five months. I appreciate it. That is extremely kind of you. And fucking Christ.
Did anyone make online for the Japan only Monster Hunter G Wii port? I don't think so, because that, I believe, works completely different than the other ones. Let me just restart my model since I noticed that it was doing the funny stuff again. And let me sharpen my weapon again. But yeah, Cancer, I appreciate it, and I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Morning? Question mark? Time zone. Okay, so I think this guy will start limping sometime soon. Not right now. But sometime soon. Do you just remember that exists? Yes. There is a Monster Hunter G port for the Wii that they released in like 2000. <gasps> okay. Hold on, guys. We need to catch something. Unsheed item use is fucking massive. Insanely huge. Can we do this right now? Can we just do it? No. Okay, we need to put the trap. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. That works. Now we need to not miss, and this is gonna be really hard. With all of this fucking velocity praying here. Dude. Oh my god! Did you see the second bomb? How it flew over? Oh, that was fucked up. <laughs> that was so fucked up. Yeah, because in this game you cannot throw them, like, to your feet. So... You do have to aim at them with them. Oh my god. Okay, awesome. I was waiting for the Velocipede to just walk in front of it. You love those things, like baseballs in here. Yeah. They have a little sound for whenever they're sleeping in this game. That's so cute. These guys are kind of aggressive? Yes, they are insanely aggressive. You know what's a game that I really want to play? Monster Hunter Stories 2. I really, really want to play that one. Because I think playing it on stream will give me enough of a reason to finish it. They think they're so tough. Yeah. Oh, we got two flame stacks. That's awesome. I think you can only get those from Yankutku and Rathalos in this game, maybe. I guess Rathian, maybe, as well. Okay, so, I wonder now what the other quests that we gotta do are, like the key quests, and I could look them up, but I think we just need to clean house and basically do all of them. And you know, this one is looming over, and it's really scary, so why don't we just take it out of the way, like, completely just get it out of the way, get it done with. So let's put stuff back on where it belongs. We don't need the cool drink. We don't need any of this. No, I'm completely running out of space here. It's kind of scary. I 
I will take out... Not all of the raw meat, but at least two of... Nah. Okay, maybe I'll do a little bit more. There we go. Five meats. That'll be fine, I think. What other thing can we need for this? Honestly, I think we are as prepared as we're going to be. I think it's about time we deliver some eggs. But I will drink some water, because the water is nice and cool. There we go. Wait, can we make like any of the Jankutsu parts? I'm just curious. Now we're still missing more scales. Interesting. I wonder if the chicken decapitator is in this game. The uh, Jankutsu greatsword. You misread Gendro. You misread Gendro must lay the grandma. Hello there, Cerebro. I hope you're doing pretty well and having a wonderful morning. Uh, we are going to be delivering some eggs right now, so you know, exciting stuff. Two of them, in fact. Oh my god. <sighs> Thank you for the stretch. Breakfast! You know, I had rice with two eggs, actually, for lunch. So this is, uh, I guess, my deduce that I gotta pay for this. We got 30 minutes. We gotta go right now. We cannot fuck around. <laughs> it's important to deliver eggs straight to your belly. They are sort of superfood after all. That's true, Miyamoto-san. Okay, so the, the fastest way to get to the Wyvern Nest is through Zone 6. But it's also the most dangerous one, because of these motherfuckers. Now I noticed that sometimes they stay dead after you kill them, so let's do that and get them out of the way. Nothing I can do about the best point though. That we'll just have to kind of deal with it. Or will he? There we go. We killed it. Another fucking Velocipray just showed up. Or is that a Velocidrum? Oh, they keep coming, dude. I think we just gotta deal with them. <laughs> it is funny how the sunglasses work with the gamer emote. Okay. Fucking Christ, dude. I don't know if this is a new- Okay, that's a new one. They just keep spawning, spawning. Oh no. It's so over. Okay. Well, let's try to make a run for it. Oh, there's also a Rattalos in here, as we can hear, uh, clearly hear over here. Hey. 
Or is that Rathian? Okay, there we go. That worked. That was so complicated. I... Oh my god! Insane. I did not know that it could shoot fire in there. Try to snipe me. That is fucking crazy. That is Wrath, I see. I think it is Rathalos. Since I don't believe Rathian can shoot fireballs from the sky. That was a hell of a shot, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I did take some damage from it. Or did I? Okay, he, he's just randomly doing that, so have fun, I suppose. Okay, so let's clean... let's deal with these guys, because these guys will make it impossible to grab the egg. Okay, Rathalos went to 9 for some reason. That's okay. He's doing his world tour. That's fine. Now, I know that he's going to be lying over here the moment that we touch the fucking egg, so... Let's see if we can make it. He's in land right now. It is kind of cool that we just get the, um, the full information on him. And we don't gotta worry about it. I think I should kind of wait until he shows up. There is a Velocipri in there. Come here, Wrath. Come on, friend. I have your egg. You don't care about it? I'll eat it. Okay, it took off. Okay, it's coming. Perfect. Now, the scary part is dropping here, and also there may... Yeah, there are some Velocipre here now, which is... Awesome. And I think he may be coming here now. That's what, oh fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't work. Where are we? Um, there we are. Let's hope we have a safe climb over here. You know, statistically, there would be people that tune into these fucking streams, and the only thing that they see me doing is getting these eggs, so they may think that this is all that Monster Hunter is. And I think that's awesome. Hello there, Mr. Piggy Mouse. Good morning, and I hope you're having a wonderful one as well. Get that egg! I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, 
Okay, so how to approach this? The velocity at the bottom are insanely annoying. Hmm. So I think I gotta like move as soon as Rattalos like starts like flying off from zone six. Like, right now. Right? No, no, no. Gotta wait. We've already wasted 10 minutes. But maybe we can do it. Okay, he's moving. That's completely fine. There are the Velocibray at the bottom, which scare me a lot. can't safely try to do this. I gotta basically almost rush it now. Okay, so how are we going to deal with these fucking guys? Oh, you're right here. Oh, you're a fucker. Don't look back. Please, let me go. Let me through. Oh, and he's here now. That's awesome. And of course, we cannot climb with the Yeg in this game. I forgot about it. I think they... Okay, I believe the way that they work is that once you grab the egg, every monster in the area kind of like gets set, so the Velocipray starts showing up. And I think that's when you can kill them, if I'm not mistaken. Like, let me see. If my theory works, and it seems to be the case in the last fucking three times that I did this kind of quest, That will make it much, much faster, and easier, and simpler, and safer. Only problem will be Rathalos showing up in this zone, or something else. So they're all dead. Now my question- oh, actually. I know that they're also going to be Velocipraise in Zone 1, and that will fucking break my heart if that happened. Yeah, I knew it. This fucking guy is... this quest was made by the devil. It will also be kind of nice to paintball Rathalos again. But I don't know whenever that is going to be an option. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, that should mean that all of these guys are gonna be dead. Oh, he remembers when Gabko invited him over. Whoa. You want the Palamute plushie? I don't think I've seen it, but I can imagine how it looks. And that sounds really cute. Okay, there are no monsters here. 
we may be we may be right on the money with this thinking. It's sleeping and it's adorable. Wow. I just realized something. Uh, my sub badges. I know I have not changed them since three years ago. But uh, they are little eggs, and I don't know what that says about me. And then they turn into ducks, because ducks are cute and my favorite animal. We are the ducklings. Hell yeah. See, that would be a cool name, but I feel like I don't have enough duck features to, you know, base my stream around. Hello there, Rhea. Do you remember this area from Generations Yield May? I hope you're doing pretty well. Right now we're doing the actual words kind of quests in this game, which are the egg quests. It's the best kind of egg, the best kind of quest, yes. Okay, do they stay dead? Yes, they do stay dead. I think? Is that a velocity rate that I see? No. Okay. It is then. Now the only thing that we gotta worry is Rathalos showing up, which he will. Make no mistake. But I think we may be safe. Oh my god, this is so scary. Okay, he's here. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, perfect. They don't return. Let's fucking go. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Now, I don't know the rules for second egg. We may need to do that again, which may take a second, but I think it will be okay. I know that Rathalos cannot show up in this next zone. You love my dog Waddle carrying that big boy. It's kind of funny to have a fish stand at that and say one of my favorite animals is one of those birds that sometimes eat fish. He wanted to piece the players up. And it worked. He's a fucking creature of spite, dude. Everything that he does is fueled by his rage and like disdain to people. It's fucked up. Hello there, skeleton witch. We just delivered a single egg and we gotta do another one. But we may have discovered the last piece of the puzzle. Uh, now my question is... Are the monsters gonna respawn the moment that I touch that other fucking egg? Or are we free to go now? Okay, okay, where's this guy? There he is. Where is he? Oh my god, he's right here. He's gonna shoot a fireball and then go backwards? No. Okay, we need to make it up without him killing me. 
Rat looks so skinny in this game. Yes. He looks really dehydrated in this one. That's why I cannot, like, ever differentiate it between, uh, between Rathian yeah, because they look really similar in here. But in Gentry and onwards, they look extremely different. Okay, so I believe this guy should be coming here pretty soon. And if not, the moment that I touch the egg, it'll be lying straight to me. We still have uh, 10 minutes, so even if we have to kill some of the uh, Velocipray, I think it'll be fine still. I could also try to take the other path around, like, zone 8, but that looks scary, and I don't know if I want that. Let's see what happens. Are you here? Are you coming here? No, he's not. Let's wait a, li a little bit. So he's going to land briefly. And the moment that it unfolds its wings, then I think I can just leave. Since it'll be locked into the flying animation. So come on. I'm so glad that Velocipray hasn't like noticed me. That will kill me right now, if you went here. Okay, yeah. We're good. Good to go. Come on. Let's hot foot it. Please don't respawn. Oh my god, they're not here. Hell yeah. I think we can make it. Oh, hell yeah. That's lovely. By the way, this is egg number four. If anyone wasn't keeping track of it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We may be going to egg number five. Breakfast. Well, you see, something really bad happened to egg number one and two. Okay, he's coming here, but I think we have enough time to just run away. I was thinking about like luring it into the other zone, but um, actually no, he's not coming here. Wow, that's weird. I guess he just gave up. He felt merciful today. This is it. I don't believe he can come here. It will be really scary. Look at him. He's a fucking fool. He's in sound tree. He doesn't even know that he took one of his children. What a guy. Perfect. There we go. I think that may be the last manda mandatory egg quest in the game, but I believe there may be another one as well. Yeah, I think there's one in the desert, if I'm not wrong, which has a Diablos, and oh boy. Ah. <sighs> Not looking forward to that if that's the case, but, you know. It is crazy how close we are to finishing with the village already. 
Oh, mega nutrients. Hell yeah. I need these things. Actually. We're fucking swimming in cash right now. We still don't have the origin quest. Okay, but now that we got those two out of the way, uh, I think we only need to do one of this. I think the uh, Iodrum one. And then killing 15 best foil. But I kind of want to do something more interesting than just killing bugs for a while. So I think Iodrum will be kind of cool. Yeah, I think we're doing well with... Oh, yeah, wait. This guy is poison us, so... Hmm. We need to combine the antidote herbs with the blue mushroom to make antidotes. <sighs> the fucking Monster Hunter sounds and soundscape is... So freaking nice. I really should use some of the sounds for alerts now that I think about it. It is crazy that I have not used any of them. A single dong, yeah. That'll come in handy later. Okay, perfect. Moving the seats over here, just so everything is kind of in order. There we go. Uh, this can go somewhere. No, this I can go there. That's fine. Yeah, we are pretty close to running out of space, which is kind of scary. I need it. five mega nutrients, and I'm. Almost sure that we gotta combine this with honey to make um, the big nutrient, the mega nutrients. Hmm. So we may be able to even further upgrade our weapon this stream, and that would be really cool. How much room is in this game for the chess? Uh, I think it's 64 spaces. Wait, no, it's 10 by... It's 100 spaces? It's 10 by 10. I think so. But yeah, you cannot increase it at all, ever, in this one. I think in the Western release you may be able to... I know that in G you can buy expansions for the item box. I think it's mostly because of its because of it being a necessity, since uh, G rank monsters and all of that. Anyhow, so we got antidotes ready. We are running a little bit on po on potions and mega potions, so let me just buy some herbs just in case. And I think now we can go and kill the Ayodrum in the jungle. Two of them, even. When it comes to the... When it comes to the burn wyverns in this game... Oh my god. Ilya, thank you so much for the Rizzo. I appreciate it. We Twitch Prime. Hell yeah. Performance. Also, hello. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Can my PC handle wiles? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't believe it can. But you know. 
Like, it was barely able to run world. You were gonna buy it for me? What the fuck? <laughs> no. You don't gotta do that. You, you really do not gotta do that. Also, uh, something really cool that they're doing with that is that um, they're actually like putting crossplay finally in the Monster Hunter series. Yeah, so now you'll be able to play with um, people with uh, PS5 and such. You just gotta buy a PS5 for it, oh my god. <laughs> There's like two games that I wanna play in the PS5 and one of them is a PS3 game. I really wish that Rise came with crossplay, because I bought that fucking socket on the Switch, so I had to buy it twice, basically. <laughs> uh, where is this guy? I'm assuming it's gonna get a special intro. Oh no, never go. Jipple, you missed the rest of the egg? Uh, it went swimmingly, actually. The moment that we figured out the egg uh, mechanic. God, this does feel like it's a little bit too loud. Hmm. But uh, maybe it's okay. Maybe I'm just being paranoid about it. Someone should, someone should let me parsec them in so they can do my audio setup for me. That would be awesome. Sounds fine to you? Hell yeah. Holy shit. I am clearly out of all over the game. That's all that I wanna be. Oh, we're poisoned. We got poisoned some... Oops, sometime. Okay, that's fine. Oh no. Okay, that guy took us for us. That was so cool of him. Also, hello there, Floral. Breakfast. Oh, boop. Lovely to see you here. My model is being funny, so I need to restart it. But I'm also in the middle of a hunt. So let's see whenever I can do it. Maybe I can do it with a single hand. Hold on. Does this, like, take inputs if I... Yes, it does. Okay. Let me just kite this guy for a little bit, and let's be reborn. There we go. Holy shit, is that gamer bun bootleg? I love that one. I think there genuinely should be more bootleg emotes. It's an untapped market. Jipple, I was thinking of how insane a bootlegged. Wait! Oh my god! <laughs> Ilya Ye, <laughs> the smiler, is, is on Twitch? I didn't know. I thought it was only on Discord. That's awesome. Hmm. RG Blue 1, Swelty 2, positive. That could be something. Holy shit.
Oh, it's tier 2 only. Okay. I see. I really like the color on this guy. I think the pattern on its skin looks really cool. It's very shiny as well. Is it already like limping? Or limping equivalent? I wonder. Yeah, I do like the um the goblin cherry scampers. That one's really cute. I don't think I know the story of now who's this, but I really like it. Okay, cool. You forgot it too, but it's your favorite? I see. Dora was showing off all the protodoros, and then in the after stream, sketched that in like 10 seconds, and Raya liked it, so she made an em emote for it and let her <laughs> Dora colored it. I see. Okay, that was like way easier than I expected. What's my favorite monster? Uh, that would be Tigrex. It has been since I first played this series in Freedom Unite. And it probably will remain to be the case. You think the bigger monsters should also ragdoll when you hit him with a gold swing? Funny you say that. Uh, I put a clip on my put a clip on my other Twitter the other day when I was playing like GU, and I accidentally like hit a monster so hard that it seemed like it disappeared. And I was like so confused because I could not find the body. I was genuinely like looking around because I could not see it anywhere. It was a Yendrum. Okay, where is this guy? You know, surprisingly, Psycho Serums are kind of like really cheap in this game, so. I could start maybe investing in getting some of them for some of these quests. Let's see. I wonder if he hasn't like spawned or something. Maybe it's deeper into the cave. Huh? 
into its layer. Uh, that does not seem to be the case. Okay, that's all right. My goodness, where is this guy? I'm so glad that um I think Gento onwards added the um the little felines on the balloon that you can wave at them to know where the monsters are like once a quest. I think that's a really nice feature. In this very often uh really mean video game. My god, where is this thing? Oh, is it him? It's him! Awesome. We knocked it away with the paintball. That was awesome. Okay, we're poison. That sucks. We've only had to use two antidotes this entire thing. It's fucking funny how this game series didn't change at all from like PS2 to PS3 uh, DS. Yes. They got it right the fucking first go. It is crazy. Uh, I completely lost track of this guy. Okay, there, there he is. Monster Hunter Pinball will be pretty interesting. I was playing a little bit of Pinball earlier today, and that game is kind of really nice. Sonic's Pinball. Drums have a single hitbox sink in Gen 1. Huh. I see. Okay. Weapon sharpness has decreased. Oh, that would make sense, yeah. Having it be separated so that you can actually stun them. Because if you can just like hit it in its spot and then like stun it, that would be kind of weird. It does make them extremely easy on this though. If I had a paintball, a paint, uh, a paintball, sorry, a flash ball, a flash bomb, oh my god. This will be a million times this year. Can you buy flashbangs legally? Do you know that you can, like, die? Yo? <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, do you know that? 
You can like 3D print a gun. Because I did it until yesterday. And apparently that's the thing that you can do. You know, not that you should go look for it, but it is pretty funny that you can actually use pirate a gun. <laughs> I see, Ilya. Is that the gun? <laughs> yeah. That will be awesome. I mean, not really, but you know, not endorsing. Legally. What is this link? Oh my fucking Christ! <laughs> I mean... I mean, if they have like a big sticker that says like fake, I guess it will be kind of okay. I forgot to say in Minecraft so they know that I'm joking. Of course, of course. Hello there, Sen. Lovely to have you here. We are currently hunting monsters and we may be able to get to the final rank of this game, this stream. Which I'm looking forward to. Well, rank of the online, uh, offline village. It is so funny how you can almost unlock this guy by doing side smashes, side swings. Hello there, Melty Kid. I hope you're doing pretty well. Melty, I did not catch like every single VOD, so what's your verdict on- Oh my fucking Christ! What is that doing? Oh my god! He jumped on the fucking log! That was insane. <laughs> I never seen that. Anyway, as I was saying, Melty, um, sorry to put you in the spot, but what is your verdict on Sonic 06? Did you like it? I think the game plays okay. Like, it plays pretty, pretty fun to control. It's like really broken, but... It's kind of funny broken. It does have some really fucked up levels, like the, um, like the pyramid with the balls. With the numbers on them. With silver. But it is like a million times. Like, I would rather play like Sonic Oxy Oxy 06 like much more than like Secret Rings, I feel. Because like Secret Rings just feels like really bad to control. A lot of us are kind of funny and broken. That's true. Talking about funny and broken, we just kill these two guys. I think this is like the first time that I die on this save file. Well, unless I'm counting the Sephadrum quests. You don't hate the level design, and it's got that adventure style gameplay. Shadow vehicle levels and Minnesota Fats Purgatory with Silver. I remember having a lot of problems with a Silver stage, and I think it was the last one. And I just could not beat the game because of that. 
But that was an actual skill issue on my part. I was also like 12. Or less. I really want to replay that one. I, I set up my way so I can actually like stream Sonic and the Secret Rings and I'm really looking forward to that one because I want to see if there's like any redeeming value in it. Now I understand then. It's flawed, but it's like lovable flawed. Like I really do appreciate all of the fucking insane stuff that they were trying to do. Like the uh, max speed segments at the end of the stages, even if they control the insanely weird. Jipul, I will. Don't say that, okay? I like. I, I really like heroes, okay? Heroes is very good. I mean, you can have your opinion, but you know, I respect it. I shouldn't be a hater. You miss Alberto Roberts. I do enjoy how that game has just named NPCs that are just default man and it's just called Alberto Roberts. <laughs> and he's making shoes in this town for a very long time. Exactly, he's making the ultimate shoe now. These shoes is the power of Soliana's mysterious stones to change. I'm calling them custom shoes. But there's no one that can test them to the full potential of these shoes. Is there anyone who can test the design of these shoes? And then you get the shoemaker's test. At least I think that's the name of the quest. It's been a while. I do find it insanely funny that that is the first segment of gameplay that you do in that game, aside from roaming Soliana. You were so <laughs> My god. I don't think I ever seen any I don't think I know anyone that has watched Heroes. Okay, so we have another fucking egg quest, by the way. Just FYI. Now the thing is, I don't think that one is necessary, like mandatory. In fact, I'm gonna be a fucking bitch about it and look it up. Because I don't know if I have it in me to do another egg quest right now, but let's see. Monster Hunter Wiki, save me. Save me, Monster Hunter Wiki. No key quest in this game. Hmm. What? Okay, okay, okay. I found it. I think. No, this is not it. Mm. Well, uh, if there are no key quests or something, I guess we just do all of them, right? Hold on, let me just reload my model real quick. Also, really want to point out how insane of a sound this guy is making. I really like it. There we go. Very funny that this game has truly dialogue. Yeah. 
God, people say that finishing Tulip without a guide is impossible, but I know like I know a bunch of people that have done it, so you know. It can be that hard, right? It does look really fun. I never played it. You know what? I guess we do do the uh, quest. Why not? Okay, we have Felvine. We have uh, Mega Potions. We have everything that we need. Let me just make sure. Let me just bring some raw meat, I think, to make sure. Now we have raw meat. Hell yeah. Is Zoro playing it without a guy? Has she beating him? I don't know, I'm not then keeping up with those um, with those bots. Now the issue with this is that I do not know where the egg nest is in this quest. So hmm. She's been in the funny bone factory for twelve hours. I see. Interesting. And there's a Walter in the game manual. I see. Okay, so where is the wyvern's nesting here? Sorry, the herbivore's nesting here. I think it should be on 10, maybe. I think it's on 9, actually. That may be the case. We gotta do this three fucking times, by the way, so... Crap on. At least there's like no vertical thing here, so we just gotta go for it. Any X around here? X for Madam? No? Hmm. No, that's poop. That's poop right here. Pretty messed up, they call it Sunday 6 when it's the seventh game on the series. Only the seventh? Okay, here are the eggs. Don't mind me. Oh my god, they're coming. Poof. Holy shit. Else I did not drink my hot uh, cold drink. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Don't touch me. Get away from yeah, me. Yeah, breakfast. Exactly. Oh my god, it's breakfast. Oh my god, dude. It's coming. Get away from me. Why are you like this? It's 
It is awesome. I love that one. Okay, we can just outrun this guy so we don't gotta worry about it. Now you know the Miyamoto noise. It is so fucked up whenever I hear the actual Sonic part and I'm like, oh my god, did he say something? Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Now here's the plan. Let's try killing some of these guys. I think that may be a good approach to this horrible situation that we're in. We do have a full hour for this quest, so you know. But yeah, I'm so glad that I was able to find a rip of every single one NPC voice clip from Sonic 06. Because those sounds are amazing. Those guys keep spawning. That's not nice. I wonder if running from basically the big deserts will kind of be better. There are so many guys over here, though. Not only is the, the fucking... The Jempreys here, but also the fucking Cephadrons. Sorry, the Cepha... Cephalos. There we go. The Sephiroths, yeah. They don't like me. They really don't like me. Okay. These fucking guys are so strong in this game. They may be the most nerfed creature in all of video games. Since they barely do anything in any of the other games. Oh god, he got up. That's scary. There we go. That should kill it, I think. They should have made an absent drum. That would have been cool, yeah. I mean, you can make the argument that uh, that's kind of like Diablos or whatever. In a way. Since, you know, it charges forward. It eats cactus. It uh, has a tail. Thing. Can we just make it over here? Can we? Is that possible? Could it be alright? Oh, there are so many guys. There are so many fucking guys. I hate this. This was a bad idea. Oh no.
This fucking desert is infinite. I hate it. It feels endless. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ, okay. Cephalus took over the Yembri like it was a ramp. Yep. That's so fucking scary. I don't think this will they will stay dead. So it's kind of annoying. And I also don't want to deal with these guys at all. Let's try killing them though. See if that does anything for me. Okay, cool. Okay, it does seem like they always swim in the same order, so... Oh, fuck you. You stop. Piece of shit. You know what? No. That's... It's too hard. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ, dude. I really do wonder if this quest is mandatory. I believe it is. But I genuinely do wonder. Because doing this three times may be a little bit soul crushing. What happened there? Did I lose my egg? I lost my fucking egg. Holy shit, dude. Okay, so... A super pound and a triple. Well, maybe only the triple pound will kill it. Are you dead? No, you're not. There we go. Let's try that again. It may be just me, but it does seem like there are less Velociprey here. So I don't... Sorry, Velociprey. Yembrey. So I don't know if they spawn like a little bit later or something.
Why do they all want to eat these fucking eggs anyway? Okay, there we go. Is this gonna be safe? This is 100% not safe. Okay, 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 okay. How are we looking here? Oh no. Hold on, hold on. I need to get over there, but they're like blocking the way. I think we did it. I think that's... Oh no, okay, okay, okay. That's fun. Oh my god, you're so fucking fast. Get away from me. Fucking holding my breath too. <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> no! Are you fucking? You are a um, fucking. Oh, fucking. <laughs> uh, okay. Brunch. <laughs> oh great. Oh my fucking crazy. Anyway, let's try that again. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we still have 30 minutes left. To be honest, to be honest, if we can just like kill these fucking guys and have them not respawn, at least two zones of those guys, I will be happy with them. Exactly. I need to condone for my actions. That is 100% not going to work, but you know. I just also felt like killing those guys and satisfy. It is so evil that this game has like five enemies at the same time, like the same room, but at least I think a little bit more than five. There we go. Are these guys gonna respawn? I don't know. We'll find out eventually, won't we?
This guys are also really scary, but I don't genuinely don't think there's anything that I can do about these guys. Okay, both of them are dead, and let me just get rid of this gem brain. You know, with all of the quality of life that they introduce in the later games, Egg quests are really trivial, to be honest. Like, just having like the food skills for like egg transporting, or like landing pro or whatever it's called, that doesn't break the egg whenever you like fall, is like insane. And also the existence of like uh, the mega dashes makes it so much fucking easier. Because you can just dash everywhere like all the time. But I am glad that I, they at least keep the egg quest, you know? Even if it's not as hard. Even if it's considerably not as hard as it once was before. And they are probably going to respawn, but that's okay. This guy always respawns, I think. I don't believe there's a way to get rid of this guy, specifically. But who knows? Maybe I'm mistaken. It also makes me wonder if there's some kind of like pity system or something that if you break enough eggs then it enters in like a state where you can like kill the enemies and they don't respond. Because these guys are not showing up again. So I don't know. I don't know. Big quest. The pity system. I would love that. Okay, so... I was going to say that the Jembrai is not here anymore. And he's kind of not, he's on the other side of this place. Which is kinda nice. You think it may vary depending on the quest in the area? I see. We can do it, I believe. I believe in what we have here, you and me, and that is a big egg between our hands. Okay, so they are dead. So my burning rage for them did keep them dead.
Oh my god, they're all dead. Guys? This may be my lucky day. Finally, gonna be able to provide. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Please fight each other. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we did it. The first egg. <laughs> the first one of many to come. Because it's three in total. It's fucking three fucking eggs. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Did I like permanently like fuck up the timing in my in my brain or something? Now, God damn it! <laughs> it's like a solid second after the song. Well, I if you, if I ever want to permanent like make so many fucking rare stakes, I got the trick now. Uh, Mr. Pig, that happened to me way too long ago, and I think since then I've been like, I will never fuck up any other quest ever again. I will forever remember this. My sharpness went down. Oh no. Guys, my sharpness went down. Can you believe it, guys? Guys, my sharpness it went down. How will I ever recover from this, guys? There we go, I wetted my stone. As we do. I've been thinking about more stuff to do with the water duende. And there are some ideas in my brain. So maybe I gotta get on Sammy and figure some stuff out. Also, this guy seems to be infinite. Have him chuck a rock at you. Oh my god. Why would you want that? Have you fucking scratch your car or something? That would be so mean. Hold on, I need to be reborn right now. There I, there I am. Hell yeah. Okay, these guys are coming back, so... Are you blue one? Rebirth. What will that even be? Oh my god. It's fucked up that they can still hit you and not break the paralysis. I don't know if that's the case in the other games. I don't think so. It feels mean. <laughs> Feels pretty freaking mean if I did say so myself. 
Okay, let's get the rest of these fucking eggs. We still got 20 minutes, so it's not like we're like strapping for time, but you know. This is like the fucking fifth egg so far. If I was to kill the Cephalos and then walk through both of the deserts, it would probably be the safest and most like fastest route. But also, killing the Cephalos sounds like a fucking pain in the ass. I hit my desk out of rage. You know, all things considered, these quests are pretty relaxing. You know, you're not really hunting a big monster or something. You're just grabbing one thing from one place to the other. And even then, even then, these are the times that I felt the most stressed out in Monster Hunter ever before. Oh my god, Mr. Big One Eggs? Hell yeah. Okay, then. Okay, you fucker. It's when they start fucking flying that it's so scary. Fuck you. My god, my fucking... <sighs> okay. Please remind you to destroy it later. Okay. You know, I know that it's not doing anything. But it feels necessary, you know? Anyway, we try it again. We just go again. Mr. Big having instant upload is one of the greatest gifts. Yeah, they fucking took off mine, you know? Since so long ago. You know, the moment that I get like instant upload, I will change so many of my emotes. It'll be really funny. Uh, RG Blue one critical, it used to have a different looking hand, and uh, they didn't like that. Yeah, that hand, they, 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 they thought that was like really mean and fucked up. 
breakfast. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that is a perfectly okay and fine emote. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just a tanuki. And it's drums. Well, I hope you saw it. Okay, so we can do an egg per five minutes. So, you know. We have four more chances, I think. Whoa, what is that one? <gasps> is that a squeaky one? Oh, that is! Hell yeah! That rocks. <laughs> I had not seen that one before. Hello there, Ketatonia. We are currently trying to steal these herbivore eggs from their den. And it's not working out really well. You could say that the morality of this situation is almost proportional to how difficult it is as a quest, gameplay-wise. And honestly, yeah, I think. I probably can. Uh, the only issue is that I imagine there's a lot of cephalos in there. And that genuinely sounds like more of a hassle than this. I hope Greedy Goose helps me in this time. God. Look at him go, though. Megami Infini? Hello. I don't think I greeted you before. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Okay, you fuckers. What are you doing? You fucking like sidestep. What's wrong with you? Just run. Just make it. It's going to be fine. You are not nice to me. And I really will appreciate if you started being nice to me. Guys, I'm having a moment right now. I don't... I don't like um, what's happening here. Breakfast. Thank you. Thank you for saying breakfast to my ears. It'll be fine. It'll work out. Things will be good. You know what? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's go to the zone 2 and see what happens. It cannot be as bad as this one, right? The, the only real problem are those two guys. Like, as soon as we got rid of those guys... And also, I don't have a cold ring, so I may just die. That's also a thing as well. But let us hope that's not the case. I am glad these eggs are infinite, because, uh... Yeah. It will fucking blow, if not. There is a gem prey over there. Okay, can we just like go through here?
I think the Yenpei saw me. It did, but it's really far away. It's kind of keeping its distance. Okay, this is the fucked up part where the where this fucking guy started like fucking flying at me. So if we can have that not be the case, that will be really nice and kind. If you post this just know that it is a Gridigus, actually. I understand, Mr. Piggy Mouse. You will never be toxic to me. Okay, how how fucked up is this zone? Okay, well, it's a little bit fucked up. Oh my god, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> Maybe it'll be fine. You guys saw how I almost like ran out of stamina? Which means I will have like instantly dropped the egg? That was so cool. It's right there, come on. Oh no. What are you doing, Cephalos? Why are you like this? You're going violencia. Why are you going violencia at me? Ah, please. <laughs> okay. Two more. I mean, one more. Sorry. <laughs> one more. Do I have any other here? No. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm gonna kill the Jamprey, but I think it'll just respawn, to be honest. This may be an unwise use of my time, but they only take like a single fucking super pound, so it's fine. The final egg. Yeah. And then I'll be free from this evil prison of a quest. This egg prison, as it were. Exactly. I think it was easier doing the Ring Racers Seal Stars than <laughs> trying to finish this quest so far. We have seven minutes. That's all we can afford to play with the eggs. And we have no more meat, so, you know, this is as much stamina as we can.
Uh, maybe. Perhaps it was. Who I might say, right? But it would be cool if I had cool shades and I could go at the speed of light. That will be cool! This guy gets it. Okay, so the Yembrai fucking like respawn. What a fucker. Oh hell yeah! What the hell? That's cute. <gasps> Yo. You together were doing QTEs. And love blossomed from that. Uh, okay. Is it aggro? I don't think it's aggroing onto me. Oh, there's that guy. QTE. Yeah. <gasps> oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Not even worrying about it. What is that sound though? Oh no, it's aggro. It's on aggro mode. Okay, it's just shooting water. Sand. Sand water. This is it. Oh my god, dude. Why are you there? Who invited you here? Breakfast! Thank you. For the breakfast. I'll do my best. <laughs> to get it on time. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh my fucking Christ. Oh my fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> I think it saw me. I think the Cephalo saw me. The Yembrae. Didn't. Okay, good. Not taking any chances. Oh no. Honestly, yes. If it if it actually like tripped me up, I will have been like I will have cried. I think. I I think we got it, gamers. I think we're safe. Oh my fucking Christ! Too. Okay. Don't 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 fucking jinx it. What is this angle? What is that camera angle? Ch change. Change already. Change. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. <laughs> uh. That was fucked up. <laughs> that was so fucked up. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ. Ah. Hello there, Danny. Hello there, Monty. Lovely to have you all here. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for the follow. I think... <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Uh, okay, no, I think we are one follow away from 500. Are we? I mean, you can just follow right now, and we will be. Oh, I think, no, I think we are. Whoa. That's cool. Yay. <laughs> oh, my fucking Christ, that was so fucked up. Oh. That did it? Hell yeah. I appreciate it. It's, it's a lot. Jesus.
Fucking Christ. Okay, now here's my question. Was that necessary? He doesn't show up just yet. I believe I yell. I mean, I, I think I, I can just like do all of them. But like the most important one is this one, probably. Which I do believe it's necessary. Okay, say goodbye to Mr. Big One X. That's okay. Good morning, Budo Saru. Uh, we just got done doing the herbivore egg quest. Uh, I feel drained, but at the same time, I am at peace finally. No eggs on my hand. Nothing to worry about. I have beaten the egg quest. I will now be known as the Big Egg. Whoa. Wow. We do have the egg ticket. Obtained by giving eggs to the guild. Try collecting them. And commendations. Which is pretty funny since those are usually to be awarded only by the hardest quests in the game, I think. I didn't know tickets were in this version of the game, like on the first Monster Hunter. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, so now we either have to... Uh, no, I think I'll call it right now, <laughs> actually. And we can continue some other day. That was insanely fucked up. My goodness. But I'm glad that we got it done. I'm glad that you all believed in me. With my wimpy little hands. Carrying those eggs. Uh, let's go to the other screen, shall we?